The Olympics are the world's largest sporting celebration, with more than 10,500 athletes from 206 countries taking part in the Rio Games. Countries from the Middle East had a big presence this year, with a whopping 663 athletes from 19 different countries. Many places ravaged by conflicts such as Palestine, Syria and Yemen were able to send delegates. But for those who were not able to represent their home country due to war, this year saw the establishment of the first ever refugee Olympic team, made up of athletes from Sudan, Ethiopia, Congo and Syria. The rivalry, however, was not just sporting, as politics took centre stage at the Games. Some Arab and Muslim competitors caused controversy by trying to avoid competing against Israelis. A Syrian boxer and a Saudi judo fighter dropped out, while the Lebanese team refused to travel on the same bus with the Israeli delegation. Further controversy was sparked by a number of countries, including the UAE, Qatar, Bahrain and Turkey, who were accused of giving away citizenship and paying top athletes to compete under their national banners. Krista Al, a high-level referee, accused these teams of being fake, but many others said that the measures were within the rules. Some of the fake athletes went on to win gold, silver and bronze medals for their adopted countries. As the games draw to a close, the Middle East total medal chart looks like this. 